So the Chicago Bulls get bounced in the first round by the Milwaukee Bucks. So they fast forward to the offseason. What moves do they have to take? Where do they go from here in order to build around what potentially, well, we have Zach Levine in free agency. You have a good young core here. If you could secure Zach Levine back, let's say in a hypothetical world, secure Zach Levine back, give him his money. And you have DeRozan, Levine, Lonzo, you have Vucevic, Caruso, you have Patrick Williams, Kobe White. It's a very young team with a lot of potential. What moves do you make to then make them better? Um, I look at the power forward position. Right, so you have DeRozan, you have Levine, you have Ball, you have Vucevic. Look at the power forward position. I love Patrick Williams. He's young, 20 years old. Nice size, uh, great length. I like Patrick Williams at the power forward position, but I feel like for him to grow and become the, the star we need, they need to go out and get a free agent who is a very good power forward. I think power forward is the position they look for to expand on. And if I look at some of the free agents coming up in a free agency signing, this is all under the assumption that you get Zach Levine back. Look at a guy like Miles Bridges. He is a restricted free agent, but uh, let's just hypothetical world. He put up 20 a game, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, shot very good at 50%. And he's a guy that they could look to bring in if, if the money's right. And right now he's making around $5 million a year. Miles Bridges is a guy at the power forward position. You match him with Levine, DeRozan, Lonzo Ball, and Vucevic. That would be a great starting lineup. This is all hypothetical. This is all just me brainstorming, creating dream fantasy lineups here uh, to try and solve these issues of the team. A guy like Miles Bridges would be it would be a great addition to, to this team. Uh, he keeps that theme of young players, fills that power, power forward position. Where problems do come in is that at the power forward position, like I said, you have Patrick Williams, who you're trying to grow and blossom into this star player. So to have two young players, it'd be sort of picking over one. Which is why my second choice would be, now, hear me out here, same team, Montrez Harrell. I think Montrez Harrell would be another another veteran guy you could bring in uh, who could add a lot of uh, a lot of grit, which I think they're lacking. I think they were, a lot of, they were a big finesse team. They weren't a big grit team. You need that gritty player. I believe Montrez Harrell could be that gritty player. I'll put up 13 a game, uh, 6.1 rebounds, and 2.0 assists uh, on 65% shooting. So he's an efficient, efficient shooter. And uh, I think he'd bring a lot to the team. Another big I think that they should look into is Bobby Portis, who has a player option with the Milwaukee Bucks in this offseason. And uh, we all know what Portis is doing in the playoffs right now. I don't think there's a huge incentive for him to leave Milwaukee, especially if they do great this season. Uh, he put up great numbers at 15 a game, 9 rebounds, and an assist a game. And really good percentages on 40% from three and 47% from the field. Um, I, I think at around a $5 million range, that's a really good uh, purchase, especially a guy that could really help out the Bulls. Um, I, I think it'd be a great addition to bring him back into the mix. Um, I think they're set on guards. I think I think they're really good on guards. I, I mean, obviously, I think a guy like Lou Dort would be a crazy addition to the team. I know he runs small forward on Oklahoma City. And there was a team option around him. Uh, and he did put up 17 a game this year on 40% shooting. Um, I think with him he'd be a really good option i don't think you could get him away from oklahoma city but i think he would be a really cool option um imagine a guy like mitchell robinson on the bulls now i'm a knicks fan so i don't want him taken away from the knicks but i could imagine him and put vucevic at the power forward that'd be kind of a wild lineup if you, if you did it that way uh, but the assumption is a mentor really i think i think they should look for a veteran player a guy like Montrez harrell um a guy like nurkic even uh, Bobby Portis, all great players to sort of mentor Patrick Williams while still giving you really good production and then adding depth to the team. I think that these are all really good options and missing pieces for the Bulls. I think they're a really heavy guard team, so I don't think you really look that way. Um, they're really deep in the guards with Levine and uh, if they bring back Levine, Levine, Lonzo, Caruso, Kobe White. I, they're very deep in that sense. So I think you look towards uh, the big man role and like I said, guys like Montrez, Harrell, uh, Mitchell Robinson, uh, Bobby Portis, um, even a small forward like Lou Dart would be a cool addition. Even though I think, they, like I said, these are all pipe dreams, but I think it'd be really cool to uh, to think about. But yeah, let me know what you think. What did the Bulls need to do to become a contender uh, and make it past, make it out of that first round in that really tough and competitive Eastern Conference? Let me know below. Chicago Bulls, Cosmo Hoops. I'll see you later.